Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're looking at Photoshop Elements and adding colored highlights. Now for anyone that has ever wanted to have colored highlights in their hair, this is a great technique. Now you may have seen this already in one of my videos, adding shine to dull hair. Now I'm going to make slight adjustments to this by using the color variations to be able to get the colored highlights in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our layers palette here. You can see that I have this photo which I'm using from the Creative Commons. As you know I like to use Lenolfian stuff from Flickr using the Creative Commons so please go visit Lenolfian. He's got some great photos out there. Now I've taken this photo right here and I've added a very blown out red picture right here and that is what is giving my picture the red highlights. Now once again you're going to want to take a little bit more time. I've just kind of sketched this out to let you see what the colored highlights look like. Let me turn them off so you can see what the original photo looked like. You can see it's a very subtle uh, effect that I've put here but we've added some red highlights. Now they don't have to be red highlights. We can change this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to revert my image here. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to revert. Now you can see that we have one background image right here. That's the original photo. And what I'd like to do is create another copy. Now, of course, if you've seen any of my videos or anyone else's, the quickest way to do that is a control or command J and then it will duplicate that layer. Now once again I've, I've done this effect on a couple different videos but I am adding a little bit of a twist to this. Now we're going to add a transparent layer between these two layers and how we do that is we either hold the command or the control key and we click on the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers palette and what that does is it puts a transparent layer in between the two and you can tell it's transparent by the little checkerboard that we have under here. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to get this picture to whatever color we want the highlights. Now in order to do that we're going to go under the enhance and we're going to go to adjust color and at the very bottom you can see that we have color variations. Now you can see that we have the original before and then the one after here. Now what I want to do is I want to take the highlights. Since we're mainly dealing with highlights, I am going to click on highlights, not the midtones or shadows. We're going to change the highlights. And then I'm going to give her a red highlight. So in order to do that, I'm going to increase the red. And as you can see, the whole picture is getting red. But we really don't care whether or not her face is getting red. We don't care how blown out uh, any of her eyes, nose, or the background is getting. All we really care about looking at is what color her hair is turning. And as you can see, it's really increasing red. And I like to use this because there's a nice before and after. You can see that her hair is turning a really nice, nice shade of red. Now, if you wanted this a little more lightened to see what lightened red hair would look like, we could lighten this up just a little bit. Now, like I said, we really don't care about the rest of the picture being blown out. We just care about what color the hair is because this is what our highlights are going to look like. Now when I've gotten to the shade of red that I want, or if you wanted to do blue or green or whatever color that you wanted to do, go ahead and do that and increase that color. When you're happy with it, select OK. And as you can see right here, that is what the highlight color is going to look like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Alt or the Option key and we're going to place our cursor in between layer 1 and layer 2 until it looks like a figure 8 and then we're going to click it. What that does is it slides this over and we can see the original photo here. Now what we need to do is we need to click on layer 2 and then we need to use a nice feathered brush. So I've got a brush selected here want to make sure that it is on black. If it's not on black you can select D on your keyboard to get the default colors back. And then we're going to go over and we are going to pick a feathered brush. The feathered brush is the ones that look kind of fuzzy here. Now we're going to change the opacity. I've dialed mine down to about 16 percent on the opacity. And all we're going to do is paint. And wherever we paint 
it is going to paint that red color in here. Now if it's too red, don't worry about that. We can always change the opacity of the level. So what we're going to do is we want to follow a streak of hair as it goes from the top down to the bottom. This works better if you have a tablet, so uh, give me a little little credit here as I try to do this as best I can. So I'm going to go and I'm going to okay I didn't do such a good job but I am painting 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 her hair red kind of scrubbing this down trying to follow I am not doing too well but I'm gonna paint her hair as if it is a highlight so I'm gonna start kind of brushing that in there oh I am really really not doing a good job so if I made a mistake I can always go here under my eraser tool and I can kind of erase some of that in there but let's go ahead and go back to the paintbrush and let's try the other side we're going to go paint some red highlights here let's go ahead and do that take this down a little bit of red highlights there like I said this is a very subtle effect and it is using some of the techniques that I've already done in some of my other videos one specifically called the adding shine to dull hair. Now I am doing such a bore job on this but you kinda get the hint here. I'm adding just streaks of red trying to do my best to follow her hair color. So we don't want to add red to all the hair we just want to add it little streaks of red hair. Now when you have 16 percent opacity the more that you paint the redder the hair will get. So as you can see I keep streaking down down along the hairline and as you can see it is getting redder and of course I made the mistake again and I put too much red I dyed her face so we do that okay so as I keep painting more and more as it gets blacker and blacker her hair gets blacker and blacker here you can see that it's kind of painting there as I add more black to that layer the redder her hair gets. Now, this is where I said if a little bit too much red comes in, you might like this amount of red, but if too much red comes in, you can always dial the opacity down by coming over here, clicking on layer one, and dragging this just a little bit to the left. And as you can see, some of the fakeness of the highlights comes back out of that. So, as you can see, once again, we have duplicated the layer right here by doing the control J then we went over into our enhance and we adjusted the color by going to variations and made the whole picture whatever color we wanted the highlight in my case I chose red we added an, a uh, transparent layer in between the two by holding down the control or the command key and clicking on the new layer icon and it put that in there then we held the option or alt key between these two layers and clicked it and it slid this over and last but not least we painted with a black paintbrush on here and it added the red streaks in there so I hope this helps if you haven't done so already please comment please give me a thumbs up and subscribe uh, this just kinda keeps me going making other videos so take care this is Chucky from Digital Goulash